Hey guys, it's Dr. Ben Israel here of HallelujahLifestyle.com and HerbalistSpeaking.com. So we are continuing our look on herbs that heal and support the skin. And today we're going to be looking at a herb that is no stranger on the scene as it relates to not only helping the skin but purging the blood. A herb that is found in many homes and in the yards of many Jamaicans that has been noted over the years for dealing with health issues such as syphilis. Today we look at the herb rice bitters. Don't go away, we'll be right back. You are watching Herbally Speaking on HallelujahLifestyle.com Alright guys, so we are continuing our look on herbs that heal and support the skin and today we are continuing our look by featuring the herb today called rice bitters and um, rice bitters is a shrub grows to about 5 uh, meters or so and the one that I'm looking on now is in its blossoming state um, and it's very easy to distinguish rice bitters because it has uh, uh, very small pods on it as you can see very small pods the leaves are elongated and these rice bitters are growing under some trees so they are heavily shaded usually when they're in more sunlight the leaves are dark green but rice bitters is a purgative it is used to purge the blood it has many tannins uh, many phytochemicals that are effective as a matter of fact rice bitter is very much documented as one of those herbs that is used uh, to get rid of ailments such as syphilis so it has been used for many years to treat syphilis successfully um, there is a lot of research um, as it relates to being used to, 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 to deal with HIV AIDS but because it is such a powerful blood uh, cleanser and purgative then it helps to increase the quality of the skin uh, so for those persons who may have boils or eruption due to toxins in the blood then rice bitter is very good um, it grows wild and of course um, the parts that are used are the leaves and the stem and um, it is used to make a tea and once you consume it um, then it is very very uh, effective in terms of cleansing the blood in terms of cleaning up the skin it can be used externally also to deal with uh, sores and wounds it's also effective against uh, things like uh, uh, bacteria antibacteria antifungal um, it's also very good for conditions such as colds, um, such as flus, such as uh, stuff that are of a bacterial origin. All right. So that's the rice bitters, and um, it is one of the ingredients used in our blood cell cleanse. Uh, so for those persons who want to know what it looks like, this is what rice bitter looks like. These are the seeds. Let me just get off, get one of the seeds. So this is one of the seeds and um, we have lots of it growing here um, in this particular location uh, where I found these they grow wild right? these grow wild here's a, another very large um, tree right? it's very mature and um, as I said it's very bitter but it's extremely good for cleansing the skin alright so until next time, this is Dr. Ben Israel saying that your health is your responsibility and the greatest weapon against sickness and disease is education, not medication. Bye-bye.